Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from Internet Radio Station and in this video I'm going to show you how to add album art within Sam Broadcaster. Many of the songs that you initially download and import into Sam Broadcaster may or may not have uh, album art associated or tagged with it. So I'm going to show you the ways you can add album art to your songs. Up here at my deck B Notice here that there's a song in there by Boney James called Powerhouse. And associated with that song is the album art for that song. And down in my history section here, it shows that song is being played. In other words, when the song is in the history, it shows it was once over here in a queue. So once the song begins to play, let's say Boney James was here, then it moves over into the history. And if I right click on that song and go to song info, I can see the album cover art associated with the artist and the title and the album title. So that's there. Now how did I get that? So let me show you how. The next song up in the queue is one by Brian Simpson called Emerald City. So I'm going to click on that and go to song info. And notice that there is no album cover associated with the artist. So to get that, what you have to do here is click on Amazon Search. Sam Broadcaster goes up to Amazon and it finds that album for you. When you click Apply Information, then click Save Tag, then click OK. So now when this song plays, in other words, after this song by Bonnie James and Deck B plays out, the next song in the queue will go up to deck A, it will begin to play. You should see the album art for the Brian Simpson song. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and start the decks up here. So right now, Powerhouse is playing. Let's assume that the song gets to, to the end here. So I'm going to advance it. Those over here in deck A, the Bonnie James song fades out, and the song by Brian Simpson fades in. And there's the album cover. The next song in the queue is one by Brian Culbertson. So if I were to select his song, right click on it, and select song information, notice that there is no album cover. Now I could go out to Amazon and search for it, and it will find it. There it is. But let's assume that uh, you can't find it. Let's say that you click this Amazon search button and nothing happened. For example, if I type in some funky characters, I'll put something here behind his name. And then I clicked on Amazon search and it came back with search return zero results. Well, you can add the album cover here manually. And how do you do that? Well, if you go to the Amazon.com website, and I'm here right now, let me take it back out to the main page. You can find album art here. You can pull down and select uh, either music or MP3 music. I like to select MP3 music. And then I'll do a search for that uh, artist. I'll type in Brian Culberson. And I know the name of the song is called City Lights. And there it is. And click Go. And there's the song. Click on that link and it brings up the album cover. So to get that, you simply right click and do save image as and save it someplace on your PC. Let's say to your desktop. And I've already saved this file. So I'm gonna go get it and I'm gonna pull it in here. Now, when you import or add images manually to the Sam Broadcaster, they must be a minimum of 300 by 300 pixels in width and height but no larger than 500 by 500 pixels in height, and they must be JPEG files. The image name, see here the image name right here is a really weird name, but the image names should not have any dots in them, they shouldn't have any spaces in them, or quotations. Underscores and dashes are fine. Now there's a problem with this image name. I see a dot there. The only dot that can appear in this name here is the one that separates the image name and the extension, which is .jpg. .jpg is okay. So 
that dot right there in this image name will break the coding within Sam Broadcaster. And when this song appears in the queue, this image will not show up here. And your users out there on the internet will not see that image either. On your website, if you have a script running on the website that shows your images or on their mobile devices. So we need to fix this before we import it into Sam Broadcaster. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to change the name of this image. So I'll pull this off screen and I'm going to change the name. And I'll bring it back in here and notice what I did. I changed that crazy image name to Brian hyphen Culbertson hyphen city hyphen lights dot jpeg that's proper that's okay now we want to import this image upload it manually into sam broadcaster to do that i'll click click to load navigate to location of that image which i've placed on my desktop there it is select it click open and there it is now all you have to do is manually type in or make your corrections here the artist the title is called city lights and then click save tag and click OK. And so now if I go back in there, he's there. So being that Brian Culberson is next in the queue, Brian Simpson is currently in the deck. So I'm going to start him up. He's playing. So I'm going to move him out. So I'm going to advance him. And now Brian Culberson fades in. And there's the album cover. Most of the songs that you import into Sam Broadcaster, you will be able to go into the song information area and do a search for it. For example, here's one by Bruce McKenzie called Chillin'. So I'm going to type in the title name, Bruce McKenzie. And you must make sure that you do type in these names correctly. The name of the song is called Chillin'. And typically, uh, Sam Broadcaster needs either the artist or the album name to find the album art. Sometimes you might be able to get away with finding the album art if you happen to know some information yourself personally. So let's take these two pieces of information and see if Sam Broadcaster can find Mr. Bruce McKenzie. And it does, and it finds all the albums that he produced. I personally know that this right here is the album. So I'm going to click Apply Information, and there it is. Click Save Tag, then click OK. So now, when the Brian Culbertson song here in Deck B fades out, it goes into the history. Well, it's already in history. Then the one by Bruce McKenzie, which is next up in the queue, goes into Deck A, and it begins to play. And when it does begin to play, you will see the album art. And again, let me advance Brian Culbertson through here. And there's Bruce McKenzie. He just faded in. And again, for most of the songs that you will import into Sam Broadcaster, you should be able to go into the song information area here and find the album art for it by doing the Amazon search. There will be some exceptions where you will not be able to find the album art and you'll have to add the album art manually. It's always a very good idea and a good practice to have album art associated with your songs. So if you have, say, 5,000 songs in your music library that you plan on using on your internet radio station, you will spend some time finding album art for all of your songs. But it's time well spent because your internet radio station will appear and it will be professional. So this is Ronnie J from internetradiostation.com. See you in the next video.